Good evening, Grassley Baptist Church. Today we are going to be talking about the top three construction fails. Some of these were epic. Some of these weren't. So let's start with the low-tech construction fails. The Baptist, the Goldie M. Lewis Freeway. The Goldie M. Lewis Freeway was the freeway that was supposed to allow people to get from the front of the church to the back. It opened in the August of on August 1st, 2016. So the Goldie M. Lewis Freeway was supposed to measure up to 100 feet long. But as you can see, there's been numerous complaints of sliding stones and missing stones. Number four, the Baptist River. The Baptist River, the Zoe, the Zoe River, I mean, runs for 60 feet from the roundabout all the way down to that tree down there. Stone, uh, not enough stones were put in the last 20 foot stretch. Ouch. As a result, there's holes all along the sides of the route. Number four. Yes. Epic construction fail. This is pretty epic. The whole entire facility itself. I knew you would have been shocked, but we'll come back to that later. The St. Pierre's Bridge. Oh yeah, we discussed that already. A new number three spot would be the lighting system. This lighting system is flawed and in some places don't have much light at all. That is a little dark such as the front entrance to the church. And some lights have been out for months and are poorly maintained. Number two on the least, on the number two on the top five fails that, that happened here, the Route 64, Rural Route 64, opened in January 1st, 2017, the route was unable to be finished due to lack of stone. Number one, we're coming back. The worst construction failure ever happened was the church facility as itself. Yes, the facility had many problems from day one. The stone bench would sink in and one time we had a funeral for one of our dogs here and during the funeral a large sinkhole formed underneath the bench it, it was not as a result of burying the dog here the dog was carried to the local dog pet animal cemetery so a hole formed underneath the bench to disrupt why the cause was it turns out a cavern had been left behind after Markings was not properly laid when the building was being built or the facility in 2015. A hole was dug underneath the stone and then a second hole was dug for the same tree just five feet away. The hole later was filled back in and to this day a small improvement.